Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we've uh, got another disco to look at. Um, let me show you where you can hear the strange noise it's making in the back. Uh, it's got a strange noise coming from it. Not 100% sure what it is, but it's noisy. Eh? So we're going to have a look at that. So we're going to show you around this disco. We're going to show you what you can get for £1,500. But we got a strange noise that was there when we bought it. And also, the person we bought it off nicked the battery. Um, so we had the car collected, had the battery when we bought it. Now it has no battery, which is an absolute disgrace. But anyway, there it is. We'll show you around it. Ta da! Hello, welcome. This is a discovery we've got at the moment, and we've got a noise that we want you to hear because this is the first steering pump. That's the first steering pump around this area when you stay up. It's been run dry because it's got a leak. So we're going to be replacing that. We're going to do a video on how to replace that. We've done one before but we're going to do it again on this one. Might as well. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we've got a disco we're going to be having a look at. Um, we're going to be walking around. This is the first look we've had around it just to see what problems it's got and we'll show you uh, what we find when we find it and what we're going to have to do to Get this one through an MRT and back on this road uh, on the road to save another one from the scrapper. So there it is. It's a Discovery 2. It's a 2002, um, and it's got problems, which of there are many. Um, first problem: paint peeling off front wheel. So the undercar hasn't come off and it hasn't gone through to the aluminium and started oxidising on there. It has just literally, the top coat fell off. <laughs> it's just flaked off. So then we'll need a good sanding down, try and get the rest of this top coat off and paint. This person we had it off told us it got new tyres. He's obviously blind. Round the front. Pretty clear headlights, pretty clear fogs, got a big hole in the bumper, been gaffer taped up. So, looks like we're going to have to try and find a corner for that bumper, because that's busted. Like I say, the lights are clear, that's good news, it has been seen for a long time, you can tell by the moss in areas. Um, bonnet's good for paint, it has been raining, so it's difficult to tell, never buy a car in the rain, we all know that, but people still do it. Um, that wheel, same again, strange, that tyre cracked, we'll have to see if it'll pass in my tea. I wonder if there's a year on these tyres, seems he told me, but there was new. Let's have a look. Uh, I can't see it right now, but... I'll have a look on there and see if we can find it when there was med, which it always does tell you on them. Um, oh, 2014. I say new there. Remember, people selling cars are loads. Right, side steps. Pretty nice. Oh, one of the bad things I've seen that wasn't told, but I can't get my money back. It's sold as seen. It's got to be cracking the windscreen. Goes right the way along to the other side. That's a heated windscreen. Got to get one of them. Folded mirrors. Sides are all good. There's no dents or anything like that in it. Um, it's got a few scratches in the paint, but we'll polish that. No cracks to the rear lights. It's a bit worse for wear, but we can probably clean that up. Doors are okay now. They normally go around here. And up here and round here, but it's just got a bit of moss on it. Bit of moss on the TD5 down there. Cordon the doors all right. Tail bar with the electrics looks good. Step uh, that has snapped off its um, its little ram there that lifts it up. So we'll have a look at welding that back on. Rear wheels okay. This side pretty good. Inside the car, now this is where the magic happens. 
no stains or cup residue on the dashboard like usual it's got that sort of sandy interior relatively clean, clean steering wheel it's the non diff lock version because it's the automatic all the windows work the seats work the driver's seat isn't too bad at all doors normally wore out along here them are good it's got the Harman Kardon stereo um, and CD player it's got the multi changer under the seat so in here it's pretty good and somebody spec the black carpet with the crate with the sort of sand interior so that looks good same here we've got a bracket come off there that we can put back on uh, back seats look like they've never been sat in headliner not too bad both sunroofs work and so yeah it's all good in there all looks really nice back door the handle sticks so we're gonna have to get in there and loop that up boots all nice normally go rusty start crowding around there this one perfect and um, boot floors nice underneath these seats have never been sat in it isn't even scratched up on this area or on the back of the seats there where you'd normally find it got the parcel shelf it's all black in the back of here which is nice you can see the headline in there pretty good apart from a small bit that's starting to stag there which we're going to try and glue back up from the inside so we might do a little video on that if we can um, is he alive? he's brain brain um, even the speaker isn't too bashed in that's normally bashed in this is normally broke that's all good that looks good Now the other issue is it needs a good under seal. It's not rotted through anyway, it's not majorly rusty, it's just surface corrosion. Looks like it's sat, it's sat in wet grass or something. Did have it off a farm to be honest. Solid steps are not corroded, they feel good. Now big, big one on this. See that? Power steering box, shot to shit. And the power steering pump is making some serious noises so it's been run dry I would have thought and we bought it with a battery but when it arrived on the truck the chap said I've kept the battery that wasn't part of the deal so now we've got to buy a frigging battery for it oil's clean um, water's the right colour and clean the oil, the ECU is dry so there's no oil in that area um, somebody's nicked the jack but engine bay ain't been cleaned or anything so you can tell that nobody's tried to fool you really um, heated screen things are still there like I said that's got to be replaced but all in all it looks to be a good car so we're going to um, put some time into it and get it back on the road get it MRT'd and uh, keep it so oh the holy grail the bonus it's done 90,000 miles unheard of so under 100,000 miles this year in this good condition with just a few mechanical issues it's going to be a nice car it's going to be a keeper this one so we're going to keep this one I think but yeah stay tuned please subscribe for some videos on it we'll show you doing the steering box because I know there's only one video on the steering box that I can see on uh, YouTube and it's mine <laughs> And it's not the best because it's the first time we ever did it. So this one, I'm going to show you more in depth on the steering box, more in depth on the steering pump and getting rid of that issue. Uh, and we'll just try and show you a bit more around the car. We'll try not to cover things we've already covered because obviously we've done a lot on discoveries because we enjoy doing discoveries um, and it's a hobby. So please like and subscribe and we'll come back to you with another video soon on this. <laughs>